welcome back to my channel so it's been a really long time since I filmed a fashion haul um, but I was just feeling super like getting back into that wintry autumn feel and all the fashion and I was just like I can't not so I'm bringing you my biggest ever haul this is nearly 800 pounds worth of Topshop goodies for you let's just get straight into it if you're new here welcome i'm katie and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for being here i love you a lot and if you haven't subscribed yet please click the subscribe button just turn the arm bell button on it would mean the world to me to get to a thousand subscribers before christmas so the first item i've got to talk to you about is these like faux leather cream leggings now originally i was like oh my god i'm not sure about these they're a little bit horrendous and when they came I thought the same until I put them on and now they're my new best friend sorry Reese you've been replaced <laughs> they are a dream like I don't know if you think about it this cutaway but I think they're super flattering like I thought they would be not flattering not great and to be honest, now they've been in the bag again, they are a little bit creased again. Um, so I'm not sure how you would go about ironing them. They have got this gorgeous, like, slightly soft, furry inside detail. They've got panels down, which isn't something I would normally, like, look for in a trouser. But I think it's nice, it gives them a bit of structure, rather than you just, like, sort of, sometimes you just see the knee and it clings onto the knee. I don't think that's really a great look. Um, so these I got in a size 12, they fit me perfect and they're £39 but they're something a bit different and it's nice just to have something a bit different I guess. The zip is down the middle, keeps everything nice and flat, there's no chunky zips in there and, and then just two zips on the sides and then the back is nice and plain. But next I have this jumper which obviously I've paired with those um, cream leggings and this is a really nice colour, it's really really lovely and you can see how the detail and the actual shade is. It's really, really pretty. This was £45. Um, I got this in an extra large, which when you look at the body of it, I wouldn't say that's extra large. I got it because I wanted it to be oversized, so it just hung nicely on top of the leggings. Um, however, I feel like, because the arms are obviously meant to be puffy, and that's great, but because it's an extra large, the arms are nearly the same width as the, the body of the of the thing. So I was a little bit disappointed that it came in at the bottom. I thought it would just sort of like fit nice and loose. Um, and the only bit that's really extra extra large, I would say, is like the arms. <laughs> like I could probably fit my tummy in that. <laughs> so yeah, um, £45 for a nice chunky knit. It's like really nice quality, really soft. Um, really lovely. So the next item I've got is another chunky knit. Um, this is really lovely and soft and on. This is probably one of my favourite items of the whole haul. I wouldn't normally go for grey but I like a light grey. Um, this is only £39 which I think for a knit jumper, like you know how long these things last guys, is amazing. I absolutely am in love with the sleeves. I think they're really just super nice and chunky and give that like really cosy feel. Um, so I'm really in love with that and I think that's a great buy. So next I have just this little plain white t-shirt. Um, it is a little bit see-through so for £15 I'm like, hmm, you know. I feel like how hard is it to get a decent white t-shirt that's not see-through these days? Anywho, um, I got it in a size 12, the fit is nice, it's kind of slouchy, would look nice tucked in some like black jeans. Um, yeah, really simple, casual, just like a nice piece to keep in the wardrobe especially for like layers and stuff during the winter so okay so when I pulled this out of the bag I thought did I like order by a mistake but actually on I really like this like it's like a little blouse um I got it in a size 10 it's 29 pound and the actual detail on it is lovely so it's got this really cute little sweet um shell button the it's got really nice little poofy arms, which I just, oh, I love. They just feel really like, like ladylike and eloquent and glamorous, but um, also very feminine with the floral. Then it's got a little cute ruffle on the arms and it has got like a little bit of detail just coming down here. So like that ruffle detail, but just on the chest, which I think is really nice. I think it actually looks really, really nice. And you could just pair this with like a high-waisted skirt 
um, a nice black leather one or black le leather leggings. Um, and yeah, when I pulled it out of the bag, I wasn't sure about this like striped gold detail going through, but you can really hardly see it when you wear it, and I think it just looks really nice on. So this was a surprisingly nice piece. Okay, so I'm officially in love with this bag. This bag is just, just, oh, look at the lovely detail on the clasp. I think that's really, really nice. I think it looks kind of vintage, but kind of chic at the same time. Like you could definitely wear it just over the shoulder, something really nice and easy like I've got on today. And then you could like style it up to wear it in the evenings. I think it's just really, really nice. I think it's only 29, 25 pound as well. I think it's lovely. The only thing I would say is like it doesn't have a real, like it doesn't have like a proper closure. So um, the only thing with that is just be a bit careful obviously <laughs> when you're out and about with it because you don't want people just nicking your stuff because it's kind of got like free range. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you just keep it close to you and it'll be fine. So next we're just moving on to some coats. So I bought three coats in this haul. Um, I think at this time of year, it's like always that time where you're like, oh, I should have bought those really nice coats when I saw them at the end of summer. But to be fair, to Topshop, they've got a sale on all their coats at the minute. So I think there's something like 30% off their coats, which is, um, this one was 55. But I think when I bought it, there was 10% off as well. So, but now there's 30% off. So go and go, 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 shop, shop, shop. Um, this is like a nice puffer jacket. I got it oversized because I thought it would look really nice with like some leggings. Um, just to chuck on over like woolly knits. You know like when you just pop into the shop and things like that, I probably wouldn't wear it for this outfit. Um, but just really like nice and cozy and just like elegant and black and plain and simple and just really nice. Like I just think it's like a little bit nicer than just like a boring black coat that you could get. Um, nice and puffy nice and warm you can feel like the thickness in it um yeah so i think that's a pretty good pretty good buy so the next item i bought is this little plain black tea this is from the boutique section in Topshop, and this was 20 pounds i bought this in a size 12 again but as you can see it's quite small for a size 12 so if you're obviously you probably guess i'm not from america so i'm talking uk size 12 um it's kind of like fitted, it's very fitted, which I like because I normally tend to wear more fitted things. I feel like they're more flattering on my shape, um, but it's quite snug. So if you are between a 12 and a 14, perhaps go up a size. Um, as it's in black, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not gonna show too many lumps and bumps, but I do think the material's a bit strange. Like, I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna just try and see what material it is. Viscose and elastine. Well, I don't really know what that means, but the next I've got this really cute crop top. Um, I love at the minute just like these details on the arms, you know when they just come up here, and I like this like nice square detail, I think it's really flattering on my figure. Um, I like the way it ruches in, so it just cinches everything together, really nice with like a pair of high-waisted jeans or a high-waisted black leather skirt. Um, it's kind of funky because it's actually got like holes in. Like, I don't know if you can see, there we are. Which I think is a bit random. I don't really see what the point of that was. Um, <laughs> I think it would have been just as nice hole free. But it was 22 pounds and it fits nice, really pretty, nice long sleeve, something like still really pretty, but still will keep you a little bit warm. So this next item is a little black racer top. Um, I think it's really cute and I bought it actually because I saw um, Nadia Anya wearing it and it looked really lovely on her, just always looks like really effortlessly chic. However, I would say if you have anything in this department, I know I don't have a huge amount in this department, but if you do, I don't think they're particularly flattering. They tend to just bulge out of the sizes as you'll see in the cutaway, um, very awkward to wear a bra with. You probably really can't wear a bra with it. Um, potentially you could wear a strapless bra because it comes in even more at the back. But, if you're bra free, go for it. If you have to wear a bra, hold them up. Maybe don't go for this kind of style. So another high neck <laughs> knit for you because they are my favorite, especially at this time of year. It's the same as earlier with the gray. However, it's like a different kind of color material. I'm just gonna bring it up nice and close so you can see the colors of the material, um, which 
online I think it did look slightly different and I was a little disappointed because I thought I'd prefer this one to the grey. However, I prefer the grey. This is a size large, the grey was a size medium. Um, the medium definitely fit better, but you know when you want to be all snuggly you don't mind if it's a little bit bigger. It's £39 and yeah, I, I do like it, but as, as you can see the colour, I'm just not sold on that colour. I prefer the grey. Let me know what you prefer. Okay, so another pair of wet look leggings or shiny faux leather leggings. Um, really nice. I love this plain detail down the front. I think they're really nice and easy to wear. The zipper's at the side, which is, I think, amazing because it seems to just, like, pull everything in at the front with that nice, strong elastic band. They do smell a bit fishy. I'm not gonna lie. It smells like a can of tuna, and I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> They were £36. I got them in a size 12. The fit is lovely. The inside of them is a beautiful, like you can't see, but that is soft as a baby's bottom, which is exactly what you need at this time of year. A bit of fleece to keep you nice and toasty. You don't want like that to press up against your skin what confuses me is when you get a really nice fluffy jumper on the outside and then the inside is like a different material and you're like i'm not wearing the fluffy for effect i'm wearing the fluffy because i want to be warm anywho i digress the posh word for me that is we're now onto some jeans so when i ordered these i thought they were black when they came they are gray they are not black so these are mom, mom, mom jeans. Um, again, I've showed you a pair of mom jeans. I think it was in my last awesome haul last year in Topshop. Um, and they're pretty much the same. However, I got them in a different colour. But again, I thought they were black. Um, these are £40. I got waist 30, leg 34. The waist 30, I cannot breathe. As you will see in the cutaway. They get on, but I can't really breathe. Could never sit down. Um, the back is really nice, plain detail. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would never like go into a shop and pick up this colour jean, but on I actually did really. I was quite fond. I was quite fond of them. I felt a little bit like retroy, a little bit chic, a little bit yeah. It felt it felt quite nice. I was quite surprised. So I definitely would say size up in those as I'm normally a size twelve in jeans. This top was one of those moments when you order it online and in your head is not what comes. Um, so in my head it was like a chiffon, nice ruffle, sleeve shouldered blouse. However, it's more of like a linen-y cotton material so it's a lot less chic looking um, and less a bit more smart casual. Um, and I like the detail on it. I really like the neckline. I think that's really lovely. I like this detail here. However, I think when you get cut off here, we've got the same problem as we had with the boobies earlier. It, when it cuts you off here, and then you've just got like a little shelf, it's not really, you know, the best look. So it's not really what we're going for. So I won't be keeping this. This um, tunic top blouse was £35, and I got it in a size... 12. Um, again, it doesn't really have much shape like the other um, blousy tunic that I showed you earlier with the gold bits in, um, but it could be tucked into something to give you that shape, which is really nice. I think the top detail is lovely. So if you're okay with this material, and again, not too much boobs going on, then this will be really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about this little number. When I got it out the bag, I was a bit like, oh dear, it looks like a dress my nan would have worn. However, on the most flattering dress, apart from banded dresses, because obviously they just... <laughs> but the most flattering dress on my figure, like, I did feel like I couldn't have much of a... Like, if I was a bit bloated, it wouldn't look good. It'd probably look a little bit pregnant. But I think this detail down the middle is absolutely... It's stretchy. Oh, that looks really weird. Um, it's got a really nice V. It's not too low, and as long as there's not too much cleavage going on, it still looks really classy. Um, it's got this nice chiffon detail on the sleeves, which I thought was quite different because the rest of the dress is double laid, double lined. Um, it's got little cuff details on the sleeves, really nice. It's quite low and open at the back, which is lovely, which just means you need to wear either a low bra or no bra. Um, again, it's got this cinch detail on the bum a little bit, and it's got a really nice cheeky little split, front split, 
in the middle, which I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that because it kind of went from like a sophisticated dress to being like a little bit sexy, but you still look hot and sophisticated. Best of all worlds. So, this is from the Idol collection. It was £55. I got it in a size 12 and in a tall. I'm 5'10", so I would say I'm tall um, and I tend to find normal size dresses too short for me. So something like this I thought I would definitely have the tall and I think that was the right decision. I really, really love this dress and I think it would be perfect for like a nice occasion, perhaps a christening, even a wedding dress up. Like maybe you could style it actually, this would be kind of nice with some like of those chunky leather boots with laces and then like a little leather jacket for the daytime. So actually very versatile dress, £55 don't think it's too bad. I have another pair of jeans, I'm in love with the colour of these jeans. Um, I got these in a size up from the other ones luckily, I know to order different sizes from Topshop and then see what fits best. Um, so I got these in waist 32 and leg 34, so this is a UK 14, um, I'm not really a UK 14, like I do have wide hips and a bit of bum going on, but you probably should size up what the waist on these, um, obviously leg 34 is the length, um, I think the colour of them, like I said, is really really nice, they're kind of a little bit lighter in camera than they are in real life, the only part I didn't like about these jeans is the hem, I know it's like kind of nice that it just like cut off and it's kind of like bit edgy I'm not really very edgy and I felt like they just the length maybe wasn't right on them to be cut off at that at, at that length um so I thought these were mom jeans but they're not they're just a straight jean so perhaps that's why if I had if I had these in this size the mom jeans but in this color and in this size we would be away um 40 pound I think again all top of jeans, I think it is £40, pound, aren't they? They just keep that pretty standard. Okay, so the next item I've got to talk to you about is this fluffy, like I said, you got 30% off all the coats. This fluffy coat from Topshop, this was £85. Pounds. Now, what do I think about this price point? I don't think it's worth £85. Pounds. I think that I've seen a lot of coats like this at the minute, none of which I'm just going to add, I think are very flattering none of which are flattering. The length I like, it's a nice length, it will obviously keep you warm but it's one of those things, that, what I said earlier, it's like it's all lovely and fluffy on the outside but then you put it on and it's going to be like, that's not going to keep you necessarily that warm, you want it to be cosy inside, I mean it's got, like, luckily it's got it inside the neckline which is nice, it's got like two little clasp, um, very subtle details which I think are nice and you wouldn't want, um, I'll just show you them up close up, you obviously wouldn't really want a button on this style coat so something really nice and simple like this is a good detail that they've added um next top i have to show you is a bit of a like a random one i thought it was black and white online obviously my eye my online eyes are not very good because it's multicolored. um which i'm not really about that you know colorful life and detail of clothing um it was £26, £29, sorry, and I got it in a size 12. The fit is really nice. I think, again, the style of the top is lovely. I think it's very elegant, very flattering. Um, I love all this ruffle detail. I love that it just, like, comes in to a nice little um, tie on sleeves, comes in at the waist, really nice neckline. The shape and style of the top I love. I just wish it was, like, white and black rather than multicoloured, but I thought I'd still show you guys anyway in case this is something that you really like i mean it is really pretty and actually like on you can't really see that much color on it so it's, you probably could i probably could get away with that in my wardrobe <laughs> maybe but the final item that i've got to show you is this leather jacket i've been looking for a leather jacket for what feels like forever that doesn't look um just cheap or tacky or yeah so this is £169, however when I bought it I think it was 10% off and it was down to £149, so if now there's 30% off there's going to be even more discount on this which is obviously the right time to be buying something like this. I have to say I don't believe in animal cruelty and I don't believe in buying leather jackets, I just wanted to see the difference between this and a faux leather jacket and I, to be honest I can't actually see that much difference, like I don't know why you would go for a leather jacket when you have an option for faux, however, if you do, and if you are, this is your thing, 
I just wanted to see the difference for myself in person. So it's very nice. I actually have no faults about it. I sized up because I thought about putting it over like chunky knits in the winter. So I got a size 14. Um, I would say because of that, I've compromised a little bit on the fit. Obviously, if I was going to wear it with something like this now, it would be too big. So perhaps I maybe will get a size 12 in a different style of this um, coat. It's really, it's really, really nice. It's a very good leather jacket. Here it is. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you all have a lovely day. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and perhaps leave a comment down below of your favourite item. Thank you so much for being here again. I'll see you all soon. Bye.